In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create this custom timer UI that you can customize obviously in UEFN. So to start off, what you want to do is come down to the bottom left into your content drawer, and then you want to right click and go down to user interface, then click widget blueprint, click that, click user widget again. We're going to call this custom timer UI. That looks like it's already an asset. So I'm going to do UI one, and then I'm going to double click into it. Once it has loaded up, I'm going to come to the left and drag in a canvas panel. And then what I'm going to do is also drag in the UEFN text block. After you have done that, you want to come down to view bindings, add view model. It will load. And then you want to come down. And since it's a timer, you want to do device timer view model. Click that and just click select. And then you can just X out of this. Now the text we put on the canvas is going to be the text that actually changes depending on what you have your timer set to. So just for visual, I'm just going to, since I want it to be like, see, let's, I want it to be like the pillars. So like people get weapons every six seconds. I'm just going to just type six. And then what I can do is just go to anchor and make sure that the anchor is centered. Then what we want to do is just drag this right piece. So it's the same size as our actual text. You want to place it where you want it to show on our UI. So you can see that this is going to be 1920 by 1080. You see that our text is very small. So what I can do is just click on it and then find size here and I can size it up. So I think around that is good. So now we need to adjust the actual thing around our text. So I'm going to do that right now. That looks to be good. I want to be placed right in the center of our screen like that but then i also want to add an outline so i'm going to come down to the right here i'm going to add an outline Goodness. five outline just like that that looks good just make sure it's readjusting the spot you want it to and that's it for the actual text here now since that we're doing a pillars type timer we want it to go in seconds instead of actual minutes so what we're going to do is just click on our text come down to view bindings click add widget text block we're going to go to no field selected click conversion functions and then we want to go down all the way to the bottom to two text integer. Click that and select that. Then we're going to go to our text block here on the left. Click this, go to text and then click select. Next, what we're going to do is come down to value here. Go to the bind this argument to a property. Click that. Click on no field selected. Then go to creative timer view model and do current time in seconds and select that. Then what you can do is just save like this and then compile. And now I'm going to exit out of this. Once you've exited out, you actually want to put down your timer device that you're going to be using. So I'm going to go to content drawer and type timer, drag it out. And since we have it as six seconds, we're going to change duration to six seconds. Then we're going to click start at game start. This setting honestly depends on how you want to set it up. The settings for this device don't have to be the same as mine, but just follow them and then change them how you'd like. Then you want to click this advanced, click custom widget class. And then what you're going to do is select your custom UI you just created, which is the custom timer UI one. Click that. Can interact. No. Applies to everyone. Completion behavior. Since it's the pillars type, we want it to restart. So we're going to click restart. Visible during game. We're going to do hidden. Audio effects. We're going to turn off. And then I'm going to save and launch session to show you guys how it looks. As you guys can see, I've loaded in. You can see that my timer's all at the top. So it looks like I did make a mistake. What I'm going to do is just go back down to the content drawer. And I'm going to go to my island, custom timer UI. I'm going to click on this. And what I need to change is the anchor. So you can see the anchor is right in the middle. I just want to move it all the way up to the middle of my text. I'm going to compile, save at the bottom right. And then I'm going to end game and push changes. The game has just started. And now you can see that we have our custom timer on our screen. You can see that it has the custom text that we put and as well as the black stroke that we put around it. Now, what if you want to actually add a text above it to say what this timer is for? I'm just going to end game. and I'm going to go back to UEFN when I get the chance. I'm going to go back to UEFN. I'm going to go back into the custom timer. And all you have to do is just add a new text block. Just simply bring it above or wherever you want it to be placed. I'm just going to do it above for now. The stroke, I want to make it three so it's a little bit thick. Adjust this here. 
want to place it above the text. And then say we want this to be like the pillars, like I said, we're going to do next weapon or next item in, sorry, next item in just like that. Let's adjust this again, just to put it in the middle. And then for the anchor, you want to make sure that the anchor is the exact same as six. So you see how it's right on six. You want it to be the exact same anchor because if you put it in the middle of the next item in, it will put it right directly on the six. So what we want to do is go to next item in and bring the anchor in the middle of six, just like this. So if we go back to six, the anchor is the exact same as next item in. So once again, I'm going to compile, save, and then I'm going to push changes. So the game has just started once again, and you can see that my next item in text is above the actual timer. You can see that it does disappear, but that's just what happens sadly with the timer device. So obviously the text is pretty small. So if you want to make it bigger, you can just for the sake of the video. I just want to show you guys what you guys could do. But now what if instead of just showing seconds, you want it to be like a timer that's a minute to 30 minutes long. That will require different settings, which I'll show you guys right now. So if you want to show minutes and just complete right away instead of it actually restarting each time, all you got to do is just come into your timer settings. And let's say we want it to be a minute long timer. We're going to put 60 seconds because it equals a minute, obviously. And we're going to come down to completion behavior and just click disable. Next, come down to your content drawer and just go back into your custom widget blueprint. And you know where you went to view bindings? You want to delete this. Well, obviously you don't need to delete it because you haven't had one added if you're doing a new one. So once I've deleted that and it, it, this, should, this is how it should look for you guys. I'm back to add widget. What you want to do is come to the no field selected, click on it, click creative timer view model. And then when you want to click is on current time, you're going to select that. Then you're going to come to the left and click custom timer UI. And then you're going to click text if I can find it. Okay, so it looks like the reason why I couldn't find it is because at the top left here, I didn't actually have my text selected. So make sure you want to select the six text and just select that. Then what you can do is click on this and then find text right here and click select. And that is it. But since we want it to be a minute long, let's change this to how it will look in game. So it's going to be one like this. So we're going to change it, put it in the middle like this. And then we can change this text as well. Like let's say, um, say destruction in like that. And then we can also, if we want, make the text bigger. Let's do 35. And then since it's like a priority type based, we can change the color to a nice red like this since it's like urgent. Going to compile, save once again. And then if you're just, if you haven't watched the start of the tutorial to actually add it, just come to your custom widget on your timer device and select the custom widget that you did. So now I'm going to save, push changes, and then show you guys once again, how it looks in game. Just to add something cool, since we made the text detonation in, I'm just going to create this. You don't have to, but I'm just going to add an explosive device, place that down. And then what I'm going to do is come all the way down to the bottom and click explode when timer pick device is on success. So now when the timer ends, this explosive device will then explode and then you can customize the settings. So player damage, I'll put to zero. Structure damage, I'll do zero as well. And then knockback, I'll do super high. Actually, no, it's not too super high. Let's just do high and I'll save that. So as you guys can see, the text has updated. So now instead of it showing seconds, it now shows in minutes. So when it's in minutes, it will show a, on the left a zero, and then on the right, it will show the seconds counting down. So we have eight seconds left until this device explodes. I, I just added that just to show you guys that you can add an objective or something at the end when the timer succeeds. So you can see timer destructs in, and the explosive device just exploded when the timer device was on success. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's tutorial. If you guys did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what tutorial you'd like to see next. Please make sure to go down in the description and check out my pay hip. I sell a bunch of stuff on there. It'll be really appreciated. Also, go down in the description and join my Discord. I have a massive community there with 2,500 plus people. So yeah, join the Discord. The link to that is down in the description. And I'll catch you on the next one.